Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can probably tell by the title, I'm going to talk about like new semester, how to start a routine, get things going and feel comfortable in wherever you are. If you're doing this from home, if you're doing this from college or if you're in high school, middle school, whatever. How to just create a routine and stick to it and be productive throughout the semester. I thought that would be beneficial for you guys because I know some schools have started the new semester. Oh, I just dropped my highlighter, sorry. Some people haven't started the new semester. So yeah, I've been here for like two weeks-ish now. I think when I upload this video, it'll be two weeks. So yeah, I've been doing some new things to help me out. I'm gonna try to help you guys. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so my first tip is to find a place where you can do your work and where you can focus. So I have a few places that I like to do work. My first place that I like to do work is my desk in my room. It's definitely easier to get distracted here at my desk because there are just so many things here to distract me, obviously. Sometimes I even look out the window and I get distracted because like the city is right there and I can just look at the city. Sometimes I get distracted doing that, stuff like that. But it is a good place to do my work, especially when I don't want to like get up and go somewhere else like I do my I do one of my online classes from here that's where I typically do it um but yeah I do like doing it at my desk that's number one another place I will do like uh my favorite places on campus kind of video coming up in a month or so but another place I really like to do work is the law school of Tulane we're not allowed to go in there anymore because of covid but we are allowed to sit in like this outside little courtyard i guess and it has like tables and benches and stuff where you can sit and do work i sometimes i do my class there it's really nice it's outside it's beautiful there it's very calm and quiet and i love it there it's so pretty another place this is has opened recently i like to do my work at the business school but outside on like the top or like the second floor i think you could go outside and there's a little balcony area with a bunch of tables and chairs my friends and i we recently just found this place and it's beautiful up there i love sitting up there it's really nice peaceful again sunny it's a great place those are just a few examples of where i like to do my work but yeah find a place where you feel comfortable and you can get some work done because the atmosphere you're in and the environment you're in that definitely helps and increases or decreases productivity so find a place where you're comfortable and where you can get some work done number two is do some sort of planner type situation so i did this it's what is it called what was the company that i did um oh yeah plum paper obviously not sponsored but yeah plum paper i did this planner i could like design whatever i wanted so i put like it's like a 12 month planner i think and yeah you can put like different things in it i'll show you okay so once again not sponsored obviously but i didn't explain this well so i'm gonna try to explain it again basically plum paper you can like create your own planner so you can choose like the size the coloring like i put like a little km on the front i put the year on the front you can pick like i chose that cover you can just basically design the whole thing you can put in like custom dates so i have like my family's birthdays in there and stuff like that so yeah once again not sponsored i just really like this planner i think it's really nice i think it is a really good way to organize your stuff i'm gonna get into another kind of organizational planner type thing in a second but yeah this i really like using so highly recommend so this is this week so i have like my class here or like what's due for that class and then i have stuff like that so i don't write a ton in here i like to keep it pretty simple because i want my eye to go directly to the work that i have to do so i plan out like a month in advance and i put the work that i have like about a month see so then i have i put in a few assignments for different classes that i have to complete and when they're due so i definitely do like having a planner i'm trying to get into the paper planners because I just think it's nice to have in your backpack and with you i don't know i just like the paper planners i think they're really nice and pretty another one i will show you i use notion obviously not sponsored again and i don't like really have a template or anything i kind of stole another youtuber's template that they gave out like for free so i use that and i don't remember her name but it's great so i'm going to show you this planner it's amazing i'm going to do a little screen 
recording and talk about it. Okay, so I have the screen recording going. So basically this at the top is my semester planning. So it's, I have like brain dump. That was something that this YouTuber had. So if you go in here, I really don't have anything in here, but that's like, I have put stuff there. Like if I, if I wanna like schedule different meetings or something, or like just remember something quick or like add something to my notes and I'll put something there. Right now I don't have anything there in there though. And then I have this master schedule. So this is, these are basically like all my assignments for the entire semester. And okay, like it's a lot. I have something like, I think 167 assignments or whatever. So I have a ton of assignments in here, but it's just super, super helpful because you can check off things as you go and just like, yeah you can list them as like different tasks so i have like all these different things like this reading exam all this stuff you can add in sorry i'm looking at my laptop here and then also trying to look here but it'll be somewhere on the screen so whatever but yeah so i it's just very very helpful it has the due dates you can add like little notes for what you have to do it's awesome so i'll show you in a second but right here is where it has like upcoming due dates for the next week so that looks like a lot it's like <laughs> so many like okay but yeah it's a million but i can just easily check off stuff and what i have to do so i know like this one right here this i just checked it off this exercise sports psychology assignment it's module one assignment i have to do a paper and it says it right there it's due on the 31st so that's sunday and then integrating sports psychology into daily life that's what the topic is about so uncheck that but yeah this is the stuff that I have to do for the next week. It's just a nice comprehensive look at what I have to do. So it, I don't know, I can just like check things off as I go. I'm not really explaining this well, but I love having this here. And the YouTuber that came up with this, she's amazing. Like this, it's it's just so helpful. I've like, obviously like I've changed certain things and added certain things in that I like and that are better for me, but her template was so helpful for this so up above it i have like my weekly course schedule as you guys can see i don't have classes wednesday and friday and i barely have any class on monday my last my first class my only class isn't until 6 20 p.m so yeah my schedule is like very light class wise but that's because two of my classes are fully online it's fully asynchronous so i don't have a meeting time for them i just have a lot of different assignments so yeah i it's good that i have a lot of time off because i have a ton of work this semester i'm literally always working but this is just a nice little view of my schedule and above that right here towards the top i have all my courses so these are my five courses and then my lab right here and then i have like to do's and reminders like this i have to meet in athletic, at the athletic training room because i'm gonna try to work there so that's just something i have to do so i'll just show you like one of my classes let's go into human body this is my anatomy class so i have the professor's email and phone number i'm gonna blur those out so you guys can't contact him um and then i have like the zoom link for the class and then office hours whenever we can meet so here i have his course syllabus so i put it oh okay but i put it in here and it's like a hyperlink so i can click on it and see that obviously it's not working right now but that's okay and then i have different learning objectives for the course so i put those in there but once again like this is all this one youtuber like she put together all this stuff and i just like filled in all my things and like customized it but yeah this is all her this is not my thing it's she's awesome so yeah then i have the grade calculator um this is all the stuff i haven't really had any assessments yet or any grades put in so we have this platform called canvas i'm sure a lot of you use canvas but i just like to put my grades in here too so i have it in two different places and obviously mine is probably going to be incorrect at some point but i don't know i just like having that there and then let's go back here come on okay and then I have my different notes. So let's go in here and do, let's open this file. So this was prep for week two. This was my chapter one notes. I'll show you here. I have them linked in here. So yeah, here, this is all my notes for chapter one. Yeah, very helpful. Oop, cut off a little bit there. But yeah, I will show you how to do my, how I do my notes in a neck, like 
that's the next step so yeah i have that and then i can you can even take notes in notion i just like handwriting my notes so that's that all right and i have the same basically for all of my classes so back up here i had just have like planning stuff this is like my schedule of classes this is my schedule for the semester this is oh this is my degree audit so i can see like how many classes I need to take for my major to complete my degree. Obviously I'm a freshman, so I have a ton of time, but yeah. And then this is different course requirements that I have to take to complete my studies here and my degree. So I just, I created this document and I embedded it here. And th then this is like different semester planning because I like planning a lot of different stuff. I'm nuts with that. I can go crazy with my planning. So these are just like, it's, just the document I have or a spreadsheet linked in there with all different classes I want to take different semesters to graduate on time all right and then I have just canvas back up here and that's the link to canvas so yeah I think that's oh yeah and then down here this is just the last part it has it's a calendar view of all different things I have due on different days it's the same thing as this just in a different view so it's kind of crazy i have a lot of stuff to do on uh tuesdays and thursdays because those are when my english class meets and those i have a lot of readings so those are just individual readings and stuff so yeah it's yeah more it's it, it looks like a lot but it's not as much you just want to get organized and have a place to write down all your stuff so like i said i have my planner and then i also have notions so i have it in two different places so if it's not written down in one place it'll be in the other place and i really like that so there's no way i can really miss any assignments because i need something to tell me like when to do each thing and what I need to get done so yeah that would be step two okay step three the last big step I would say is figure out a way to study and take notes that works for you. So I'm going to show you how I take notes and how I do this stuff and that is through Notability. I decided that Notability would probably be the best suited for me. I literally used it in middle school so I didn't actually have to pay for it but it is like I don't know how many how much it is it might be like five dollars or something but it's insanely worth it. All right I'm going to screen record my iPad and kind of show you what I do with Notability. So let's do that. So I'm screen recording my Notability right now. So I have my iPad right here in front of me, but basically this is my analysis unit for my English class, but let's go into all notes. Okay, so I'm in all notes now and you can see that I have like my five different like little tabs here. And those are all of my five different classes. So I have my anatomy, like this is, I showed you this on the little screen recording of my laptop in Notion, but if you go into chapter one, like this is my prep, oh, okay. So this is my prep for my chapter one notes. So, or this was prep for the first class. It was, I read the textbook and then I took notes on the textbook. So yeah, this is how I do my notes. I basically color code each class. So for anatomy, I have pink. So let's go into the little, here so these are like my four different colors for anatomy at the, those four pink colors so basically I it just helps my eyes it helps me visually see everything and like read my notes more clearly so I really like doing that so I do that for all my different classes like blue is exercise and sports psychology green is bio because why wouldn't it be green you know and then purple is English and gray is kinesiology so yeah, that just helps i can show you guys some of my other notes if you want to see them a little bit later but yeah so this is these were like my in-class notes from my first class so same color same situation i did that and then i have like the powerpoint that i can like take notes on and stuff yeah and then let's go into i have the same for chapter two so i don't need to show you that bio i have my week one and my week two notes I don't know what happened, but Notability created week three note. It's literally just week two, but it's called week three. I don't know why I did that, but whatever. There's this little box here, but okay. So yeah, these are my science note, my biology notes for in class. Yeah, so I just do that same thing. It doesn't really, yeah, just the green again. Um, yeah, so that's basically how I do my notes. I had taken, last semester, I had taken notes on paper for most of my classes, and I liked writing my notes. I really enjoyed that. I just figured it was better for me to have it 
virtual because then I can put my notes in Google Drive or in Notion like you guys saw and then I can have them organized and I'm not constantly worried about losing them or not being able to find the page. I can also like search up certain words that I've written down or like we were working on meiosis in bio. So if I wanna see my meiosis notes, I can just type in notability meiosis. And even if I've written that word, it'll find it. Even if it's not typed, it's just like handwritten, it'll find the note that it's featured in and I can just press on the note and go right to my notes. So it's very user-friendly. I really like notability. Like I said, like I used it in middle school. So yeah, I just remembered that it worked for me and I liked it. So I figured I would do it again. Because those are like my three big tips for how to stay organized and like get into a new semester. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe if you want. Guys, we're at like 740 subscribers. That is insane to me. Like I, I don't really like to think about the numbers because I don't want to like hold myself to a certain standard or whatever. But I didn't think we would get past like 50. <laughs> there were you saying like, I don't really care about the numbers and then saying talking about numbers but i'm literally so thankful for all of you guys you just made me so happy and i love communicating with you guys and talking to you about the difference like tulane and college process and stuff like that so if you guys have any questions about the college process tulane note taking organizational stuff college anything reach out to me on instagram you can find that in the description below you can follow me on instagram we can be friends let's do something like that um really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching i love you all and i will see you next week for the first video of february which is crazy i don't know how we're here already but i don't know how we're here already that was not really english but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you all i will see you next week in february bye